Hi guys, I hope you're really, really well. Alors, salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez tous très bien. So, this is a video in which I'm going to be talking about the vocabulary for the 12 signs of the zodiac in French. Alors, c'est une vidéo dans laquelle je vais vous parler du vocabulaire pour les 12 signes du zodiac en français. I completely understand that for some people, this is even, you know, not offensive, but, you know, due to religion or whatever, 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 they just don't believe in this kind of thing. Alors, j'accepte que pour certaines personnes, tu vois, euh, voilà, enfin, euh, ils prennent mal, euh, ils apprennent mal cette idée, um, but it's just basically for the vocabulary. Alors, largement, c'est pour le vocabulaire. Um, I don't personally know whether I even believe much in star signs at all, quite frankly. Um, Est-ce que j'y crois? Ouais, je pense pas. I'd be much more likely, if you could tell me that there's some kind of physical link between when the brain was developing um with what was going on in the universe the, you know in, in you know in in the sky in terms of gravity or something you know like uh ouais tu vois je serais plutôt pour uh, si on était capable de m'expliquer un lien physique tu vois quand il y avait un embryon qui enfin uh, qui se développait uh, whatever that i'd be more into anyway i have a marvelous friend called phil alors moi j'ai un ami uh, super sympa qui s'appelle philippe and his birthday is the same as my dad's birthday alors effectivement son anniversaire c'est le même jour que l'anniversaire de mon père and i just remember thinking a few days ago this is like um it's gobsmacking how different they are alors c'était poustouflant but why 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 should it be gobsmacking they're completely different people one is 40 one is 70 il y en a qui a à peu près 40 ans Il y en a qui a 70 ans. But my brain was going, oh, but the same day, the same first name. <laughs> Alors, le même jour, le, le même anniversaire, le même prénom. And then the same week, um, I've got a student called Sarah who's trying to, you know, you know work out um, my star sign randomly. Alors, il uh, y a une femme, une étudiante, elle est super sympa, qui s'appelle Sarah, qui essayait de, de calculer, alors, mon signe à moi, le mien. And I was like, no, you're never going to guess it. I go out of my way <laughs> to be a certain type of person as a teacher. Not as a, as a teacher, but in one-on-one -on -one classes with certain people. Alors, pas comme prof en général, mais enfin, des cours particuliers avec certaines personnes. So, yeah. And she's like, oh, I bet you're this, I bet you're this. Wrong on all accounts. Um, and equally, I have, a, I have a twin brother. Alors, moi, j'ai un frère jumeau. And we are so very different. Alors, mais... Oh, on est tellement différents. And then everybody always went, oh yes, but you see, you're the same star sign. Um, it's, you know, uh, you have different traits from the same star sign. Alors vous avez des traits différents du même signe. And I'm a bit like, well, if that's the case, what's the point in doing it? And then equally, um, people start talking about like ascendance, there's ascendant and all this business. And I'm just like, well, if you're going on and on about ascendance, what's the point with, you know, um, the star sign? And then someone's always telling me that I need, what do I need in my life? A Leo or a Capricorn or a Taurus or something. People say that, that, that that's where your love is going to be. One of those three. And I'm a bit like, which is probably given those of you in the know, <laughs> my star sign. Um, and I'm a bit like, <sighs> anyway, it's a great source of vocabulary because what's then going to happen and if you're watching this on instagram it won't be now it will be links to videos on youtube so i'll pop the link to the playlist underneath alors je vais bientôt attacher les liens uh, pour la liste de vidéos uh, en dessous ou ci dessous so i'm going to do a video talking about the alleged characteristics of different star signs God, I get such a ghostly light from the, uh, from the computer screen. Alors, il y a une lumière un peu jaunâtre, uh, blanchâtre de l'écran. So, I'm going to be doing a video talking about the alleged characteristics, personality traits of certain star signs. Because even if you don't believe in this kind of thing, that's a damn good source of vocabulary. Donc, même si tu y crois pas, c'est une super source, une su source superbe de, de vocabulaire. So, you know, adjectives for personality, qualities, nouns of human quality, all of this kind of thing. Um, great. But the 12 basic star signs are, okay, in vocabulary. Let's look at those first. And then the other ones I will do in subsequent videos. So, first off, we've got Aries, which is le bélier. Le bélier. Bélier. 
Okay, so whenever you get any vocabulary, Sarah, I'm talking to you. Shout out to Linda as well, who was very keen for this video. Alors, elle était très enthousiaste. Elle avait, enfin, elle avait hâte de regarder cette vidéo. Um, so, whenever you get a piece of vocabulary, focus on the vowels, then close the mouth. Okay, so we could go bellier, which would give you the, um, you know, consonantal belly. But we don't want that. So focus on the vowels, bellier, then close your mouth, bellier. We don't want to be going through life going bellier. We don't need to be showing off the teeth. My teeth are bright enough. <laughs> Too bright, actually, thinking of getting them undone. Um, lovely. So Aries, bellier. Date-wise? Yeah, date-wise, you know, March 21st till April the 21st, yeah. Le 21 mars au 21 avril. Um, and a bellier is a word in French for, you know, that kind of animal anyway. You know, like that kind of ram. That is one of the words for that, you know, that goatee, rammy form of a mammal. That is, that is one of the, that is a proper word anyway. It's not just for star signs, right? Equally a proper word, we've got toro, toro. Now, you might have heard of it's very big in Spanish culture, obviously, you know, like, you know, uh, Torridor and all of this business. The hideousness of bullfighting. I'm sorry if you're from that part of the world, which you do see in the southwest of France as well. Um, but um, I'm sorry, no animal needs to be... I'm, I love tradition, but no animal needs to go through that. Um, so the bull, toro, toro, which is still a word for a bull in French, even if you're not talking about, you know, um, Taurus. And that would be April the 21st to May the 21st. Donc, le 21 uh, avril au 21 mai. Then we've got Gemini. Okay, now, notice the similarity in French to the word for twin. So I used it earlier. Alors, jumeau or jumel, feminine twins. Jumel is also um, binoculars, yeah? twin lenses. Um, <laughs> what was it I heard the other day? When... when doing eyebrows. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. <laughs> they don't have to be identical. So Gemini is les gemeaux, les gemeaux. Yeah, okay. Um, notice the vowel je, not je, gemeaux, okay. Jumel is with a J, okay, with a J, but uh, gemeaux is with a G. Um, and that is a word which just would be used for Gemini, nothing else, okay. Um, uh, lion is Leo, le lion. Normal word, the word for lion in French. Yeah, le lion. Shout out to my mate Chris, who's obsessed with lions. Le lion, okay. Virgin, Virgo, la vierge, la vierge. And this is a word which is used in French all the time, whether you are speaking about Mary, la vierge, whether you are speaking about um, virgin olive oil, whether you are speaking about somebody who is a virgin, uh, vierge, okay? Um, Libra, balance, scales, and une balance, la balance, is still the word in French for a scale, so equilibrium, you know, the same origin of language, equilibrium, uh, you know, équilibre, like in balance, ironically, balance, you know, you've got a good sense of balance, um, équilibre, but equally balance is like scales, as in you're standing on the scales, you know, you can be um, weighed, that's balance, all right? Balancé, watch the ballet video as well, you know, and things sort of swing, pendulum sw swing backwards and forwards. Scorpio, scorpion, which again is obviously the proper word for the animal. So we've missed out some dates, I apologise. So uh, Gemini was May the 22nd to June the 21st. Alors, le 22 mai au 21 juin. Leo was July the 23rd until August the 23rd. I spent a lot of time with a Leo. <laughs> but then, allegedly, that's one of the... What was it I was told? Leo, Capricorn and Taurus are the people I should be with. Um, uh, yeah, le 23 juillet. Uh, or 23. Now, the word for August, we have done this before, guys, but it can be, some people will say out, some people will say ou. I personally favour out, but there you go. So, le 23 août. Um, Virgo, uh, my brother Joe is a Virgo. Um, so, du 24 août au 23 septembre, the 23rd of September. 
uh, Libra was le, uh, le 24 septembre au 23 octobre. Then we've got Sagittarius, Sagittaire, Sagittaire, masculine Sagittaire. Le Sagittaire doesn't mean anything else in French apart from Sagittarius, okay? Or, you know, referring to that um, 30% gradient in the sky of the 12. 30, 30, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, isn't it? Yes, because 12 times, the, yeah, yep. Uh, if I were with Phil now, I'd make a top set maths joke against myself. Um, Capricorn is December the 22nd to January the 20th, okay? Uh, le 22 décembre au, jan au 20 uh, janvier. Notice with dates I'm saying du and o because with time it's de and a and with dates it's du, o, from the to the. Very handy today. Very handy, very green tea busy. Luke, you're in on camera. Don't be busy with your hands. <laughs> Um, Aquarius, I want to start singing the age of Aquarius, uh, verso, verso, and again, you know, not a word that you'd use apart from in that area, le verso, and that is from January the 21st until February the 18th, so uh, janvier 21, au fev uh, février 18, le, enfin, le 18 février, pardon, I'm reading it digitally, so le 21 janvier au, au 18 uh, février, and then Pisces, last one, uh, masculine plural, les poissons, like fish. Just literally fish. So you notice we often tend to go with the actual animal word. So Pisces, les poissons. Yeah. But you tend to say, moi je suis poisson. You know, um, if you were going to say that. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm Leo. Moi je suis lion. You know, moi je suis uh, taureau. You know, je suis taureau moi. Um, and Pisces would be February the 19th to the 23rd of March. Alors, du 19 février au 23 mars. Um as I'm looking at these dates, I'm trying to think of people in each of these uh, each of these groups. So who do I know that's an Aquarius? My very first girlfriend, Nina. Lovely girl. Uh, <laughs> life has obviously changed for the both of us since then. But yeah, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous woman. Um, uh, advises moms on, uh, and I'm not saying you need to breastfeed, it's a personal choice but advises moms that want to breastfeed, that can't breastfeed, um, brilliant, that has a brilliant job. Um, yep. Um, so in other words, let's do a quick test. test. Aries, le bélier, bélier. Taurus, le taureau. Gemini, les gémeaux. Leo, le lion. Virgo, la vierge. Libra, la balance. Yeah, petite balance. Scorpio, le scorpion. Sagittarius, le sagittaire. Capricorn, le capricorne. Aquarius, le verso. And what was the last one? Um, Pisces, les poissons. If you want to know all about what alleged all about, I don't know where our London tea has gone, all about the qualities of these uh, characteristics, of these people, then watch the subsequent videos. All right, take care guys. Uh, thank you very much. Speak to you soon.